The Kelowna Falcons beat the Bellingham Bells 7-6 last night to claim the Northern Division title. They have one series to go. I'm now joined by head coach Brian Donahue of the Kelowna Falcons. Brian, how did that win feel? Uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I think more than anything else, it was fun to uh, watch our guys celebrate. Uh, it was a pretty crazy game. Um, we came out really hot, quieted their crowd. Uh, they had quite a lot of support, so I think for us to come out and make a statement like that early uh, was important. But uh, we held on, and uh, it was a lot of fun just to see the guys get one out closer and just continue to inch towards that championship. And uh, just to watch the guys celebrate that after such a long summer was awesome. Now, it wasn't an easy road to get there by any means. Portland and Victoria did come down to the wire. Portland had to beat Victoria in order for you guys to advance. What's your gift to Portland? Well, <laughs> Well, we're still playing and they're not, so I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I definitely did say thank you to them uh, after they took care of business for us. But, uh, yeah, this league always comes down to the last couple days. Uh, so, obviously, when we uh, got word that we were in the playoffs, I uh, definitely saw an energized group and just knowing that we had a chance to win a few more games and, and have a chance to really do something special. So uh, that was a neat finish to the season for us, for sure. Now, there's no doubt the Cor Corvallis Knights are on fire. They won six of the six games that you guys played them this season. They've also won back-to-back -back championships. So what's the message for your players and the team going forward into the series? Well, with this group, honestly, if they were to pick an opponent to beat to win the championship, I think that they would just decide to beat Corvallis. Um, this has just kind of been who we've been all year. We kind of like to come in and, and, you know, not necessarily surprise people, but just embrace a challenge. We've been a good road team all year, as was shown last night. Um, and I think that, you know, we came into this playoff run just really feeling like we had nothing to lose. And so I think the guys are just excited to maybe surprise some people or to, you know, get into the playoffs the way that we did and then just go ahead and, and win the whole thing anyways. So I think we're looking forward to playing a team that has done well against us all year and now it's time to do it when it counts. Who takes the mound in game one? We're still working on that. We're trying to piece together the whole series. Uh, we'll probably have that up on the website uh, soon. Um, but with three games left, we're just trying to strategize on how to piece this series together. So we're going to have some conversations amongst us coaches and some of the players and kind of figure out what our best way to, uh, to get things off to a good start is. How are the guys holding up body-wise? I know you guys have had a, a tough schedule on the road so far. Are they looking fresh? Yeah, when you get to this point in the summer, it doesn't really matter anymore. Whether you're sore or not, you still wake up and just know that you're that close to winning a championship. So um, it's funny how uh, once you get in the playoffs, uh, if you got a sore arm, you just kind of forget about it. If your legs are a little tired, you kind of forget about it. So uh, they're just looking forward to making one more run here and, and doing something that uh, – you know, we'll never forget and would be really special that no one can ever, uh, you know, take away from us. Let's talk about home advantage. I mean, game one last series was here at Elk Stadium against the Bells. You guys won that game. Then you went back to Bellingham, lost that game, but managed to close out the series. Game one starts on Tuesday here at Elk Stadium. What has the crowd been like and just that fan support? Well, I think that um, as the summer kind of went on, I think we started to see that uh, we started to kind of embrace playing here, um, almost playing, you know, with that advantage. Uh, we're used to playing on this field. Uh, Bellingham, Corvallis, they both play on artificial turf fields. We're used to playing on our field. Um, so there's just a level of comfort. And I know that just the support that we have and, you know, with a lot of our guys, you know, their billets are here every night. It's just kind of like a family type atmosphere that we're playing in front of our fans is a lot of fun and uh, it was also fun down in Bellingham we had quite a quite a fan section down there a lot of people made the trip too but uh, playing here definitely especially tomorrow night we know it's our last game here and I know that this place is special to our kids so um, I'm sure we're going to do everything we can to finish things off with a win here. What's the reaction for the players going into this final series what are they I'm sure they're anxious nervous excited have you talked to well, them? They're not nervous I know that um, I just they're having fun you know, we, I, I really feel we came into the whole playoff run knowing that we were playing our best baseball and literally playing like we had nothing to lose. If we just go out and do what we know we can do, we're going to be in good good shape and go figure we we took care of the first step of this run. Um, 
but yeah, there's there's no nerves. I mean, these guys know that what we've already accomplished has been great, and and hey, if we're gonna make it to the final series, we might as well win the thing. And I know that's the attitude that they're gonna take into this, and just just a lot of guys just really enjoying this ride. Definitely enjoying the ride. Looking forward to the final series. Game one goes Tuesday here at Elk Stadium. First pitch is 6:35 for Castanet News. I'm Madison Earhart in Kelowna. Thank you.